YouTube channel. All right. All right, let's get started on our mats. And yoga practice really begins with, um, you know, a conscious intention. Um, so I encourage you to find an intention for this practice, anything you would like to dedicate this practice to, or just remind yourselves why you have come onto your mat this morning or this evening. So let's begin by finding a comfortable seated position. Your sitting, sitting bones are on the floor, your spine is long, your shoulders are relaxed, your eyes are gently closed, so soften your eyelids, and take a moment first to just feel the breath. Just a natural, easy breath in through the nose and out through the nose. And once you've found your rhythm, once you've established yourself in this natural breathing rhythm, keeping your eyes closed, bring your palms to touch. See if you can bring this Anjali Mudra or prayer gesture in front of your forehead, symbolizing the union of your heart and your head. And from this place of inner connection, take a moment to reflect on what is it that brought you to the mat today? What is it that you would like to dedicate this practice to? And repeat it to yourself a couple of times, any intention you wish to set. For me, it's about finding peace and ease and practicing consciously in line with ahimsa, nonviolence, and satya, truth, and honoring my boundaries, not going over the edge. Once you've done that, bring your palms, your connected palms in front of your chest. And let's open this practice by chanting OM once together to seal in that intention. Inhale for OM. Mm -hmm. Grab your palms together, feel the warmth in between your hands and then gently place the center of your palms on top of your eyes. Take an inhalation. Exhale out completely. Join the palms. Bow the head. Namaste. Namaste everyone. Thank you for joining and we will slowly begin our practice. Once you've blinked your eyes to open, we're going to start with some gentle warm-ups and since this is a session Focus on the shoulders and the chest. We're going to start with some shoulder rolls, hand on the, sh on the knees, elbows down. We're going to keep the hands where they are and loop the shoulders in, up, and back. Inhale to loop the shoulders in and up, and exhale down. So immediately, let's start to coordinate our breath and movement, making our movement more conscious, more intentional. Big circles without rushing your breath. So let your breath really guide your movement and not the other way around. Nice job. Let's do one more. Good. And now bring your fingers or your hands to your shoulders. Bring the elbows to touch in front of you and then draw circles with your elbows. And same thing, can you coordinate your breath and movement? Staying conscious of your inhalation, of your exhalation, and switch directions. So if you were going in one direction, go the other way around now. And these warm-ups are really, really important, especially if you've just woken up a while back, like me, 7 a.m. here. So really take your time to warm up the body properly. All right, really good. And release the hand, bring the right hand in line with your right hip, Reach the left arm up and slowly guide your head towards the shoulder. 
So I'm not pulling, I'm not pushing, I'm just allowing the weight of my elbow to draw down. And slowly start to lift that hand that was on the floor, off the floor, and see what height, at what height you can feel that nervy sensation through the arm. We'll be doing a little more nerve flossing once we stand up, which is really good to improve the, the circulation through those nerves and connect the muscles to our brain. So let's do the other side, opposite arm stretches to the side and with the other hand, slowly guide your head to the opposite side. Maintain a straight spine and see if you'd like to lift that hand off the floor and see at what height you feel that sensation through the shoulders, through the neck, through the arm. Breathe. And now slowly release. Good. We're going to come onto our hands and knees now, making sure our knees are under the hip points, our wrists are under the shoulders. Now I want you to pay attention to your hands. We'll spread our fingers wide, but not strain the fingers. So they're comfortably wide. The middle fingers are parallel. And we're going to begin by keeping our toes untucked. Okay, so we're going to give our toes and our spine a little warm up now. Now from here, inhale to come into a cow position, pulling the shoulder blades back, lifting the tailbone up. On the exhale, can you tuck your toes, making sure all 10 toes are tucked under and send your hips back as you round through the back, tucking your chin in. One more time, come forward, untuck the toes, inhale, open through the chest. On the exhale, tuck the toes, round through the back, send your hips back, chin towards your chest. Okay, we're going to add on to this now. Inhale, soften the belly, open through the chest, collarbones are wide. Exhale, tuck the toes, round through the back, send your hips back, and walk your hands towards your knees and see if slowly you're able to lift the knees off the floor and come onto your heels if you can. If the heels don't reach down, that's okay. And come forward. So we're mobilizing our toes now. And once again, untuck the toes. Inhale, exhale, send the hips back, tuck the toes, walk your hands towards you and slowly making sure you're pressing into the big toe mount as well. See if you can come onto your feet. Last one, we're going to add on now. Come forward, inhale, exhale. All right, we've tucked our toes, we're walking our hands towards us. This time, can you bring your fingers in front of your toes and slowly just lift your hips up. Knees are still bent. As you can see, my knees are still bent. Come back down and lift. Inhale up, open through the chest. Exhale to lift the hips up, drop the head. Let's do this one more time. Inhale and exhale. Last one and then, and then we hold in the forward fold. Drop the head, keep your knees softly bent. If you don't have enough space in between your legs, step them apart. So about hip width distance in between the feet. Drop the head completely and hold on to your opposite elbows. Let your head hang heavy. Let the weight of your elbows draw you down towards the earth and feel that beautiful stretch in the backs of your legs, but also feel how you are creating space between each vertebra. Sway from side to side a couple of times, breathe. And then slowly release the hands and scooping the belly in, pressing down through your feet, start to stack your bones one over the other to come up to standing. All right, take your time, there's no rush. Once you are standing, we're going to do our nerve flossing, okay? So the upper body nerve flossing. We're going to stretch out our arms to the sides and point the fingers down palms away from us. And really imagine you want to press against the walls, okay? 
So once you've got that, already you feel a nervy sensation through your arms. Keep your neck in alignment with the spine. And now slowly and gently start to rotate in and out. In and out. And you'll notice that when your fingers are coming in and you're internally rotating your shoulder, you feel that nervy sensation less. And once your fingers are pointing down, you feel it a little more. And some of you might not feel anything at all, which is okay. Also, let's do one more round. In and out and down and slowly release. Roll your shoulders out. We're going to wrap the left arm around our back and with the right hand, hold on to the wrist and pull it down diagonally. Okay, so left arm around the back with the right hand. Hand, you hold on to that ankle behind you and pull it down diagonally and drop your head towards your left side. And this should feel really good in the neck and the shoulder. Hold it here, breathe, and slowly release. Let's do the same on the other side. So stretch out your arms, wrap the right arm around your back, Left hand holds on to the right wrist and holds it down diagonally. Relax both your shoulders and drop the head to the left. And just experience that stretch. Like I said in the beginning of the session, we'll focus on really experiencing and letting the body absorb the effects of each posture and each stretch. And slowly release. All right. And we're ready to move and flow together now. Step into the front of our mats to start. We're going to start with one round of sun salutations, giving the whole body a nice warm up. Arms by the sides, rounding down through your feet, you're reaching up through the crown of your head. Spread your collarbones wide. Inhale and exhale, bring your palms to touch in front of your heart. Remind yourself of your intention. And with gratitude in your heart, let's begin. Inhale to stretch up, pelvis forward, knees are softly bent. Exhale to fold forward. So maintain a long spine, bend your knees if you need to, drop the head. Place your palms down and step your right foot back, drop the right knee. Make sure your left, uh, your left knee is over the ankle. Step your left foot back, come into plank position. Hold your breath if you can. Drop the knees and slowly bring your chest and chin down, keeping your elbows close to the body. Pull the belly button in, hips are up. Press into your hands, slither forward. Inhale for cobra. Shoulders are not here. Pull the shoulder blades down the back and lower down. Tuck the toes. I want you to first pull the belly button in and hug the ribs in together and then press away from the ground. Hips go high, downward facing dog. It's our first downward facing dog. So take a moment to pedal out your feet here, bending one knee and then the other. Keep your neck loose. And we're going to step the right foot forward with your next inhalation. So stop bending out your feet. See if you can ground down through the heels. So okay if they don't touch the ground. Look forward, step the right foot forward. I know that on Instagram, it kind of shows the opposite. So just listen to my cues if, you, if you're confused. And then step the left foot forward and take a forward fold. Reach up, stretch up, arch back, inhale, and exhale, come back to center. We'll do it a little more fluidly on the left side. Inhale and exhale, palms together. Inhale to stretch up. Exhale to fold forward. Left foot steps back. Take an inhalation, drop the back knee. Lift through the chest. Plant your hands, step the right foot back. Hold your plank. Drop the knees. Shift the shoulders forward. Chest and chin come down. Hug the belly button in. Inhale to cobra. Exhale, lower down. Tuck the toes. Press away, downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet. If that feels right for your hamstrings. And now look forward, bend the knees, left foot steps forward. 
Right foot steps forward, take a fold and stretch up. Inhale, back to heart center. Arms by the side, step your feet, keep with distance apart. And again, take a little pause. Notice how the body feels now. And I'm going to turn this way. You can stay at the front of your mat, arms are by the side. Inhale, stretch both your arms up, feet are slightly apart. Hold on to your left wrist, reach up, let the shoulder blades elevate, and take a side bend to your left. Ground down through both your feet, keep your chest open, lean the spine back, and breathe here. Breathe, conscious breaths, come back to center, stretch your arms up, and opposite side. So elevate first, really pull up, and then side bend. It's a beautiful stretch for the side of your shoulder, for the side of your waist. Breathe here, keep your collarbones wide. We're not leaning forward this way. And come back to center and release. Take a few circles in your shoulders, a little more of shoulder opening. We're going to interlace the fingers behind us, press the palms together, and pull the knuckles down. If pressing your palms together is not accessible, you can just hold on to your opposite elbows, all right? And we're going to step our feet slightly apart, lift up through the chest as we pull the knuckles down. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades in. On the exhale, soften the knees, send the hips back and up, and slowly start to lift the arms overhead. So keep your knees bent. If you're super flexible and you're able to straighten the knees, that's okay, but I always, always encourage a mini micro bend in the knees. And breathe into your shoulders now. So we're really working on opening the shoulders. Keep your neck soft, breathe into the shoulders, allow gravity to do its job here Maybe the hands come a little closer to the earth with every breath. And like I said, we're holding each posture, allowing the body to experience the effects of each asana. Good, and slowly now lift the head, bring your hands towards your back, press into the floor with your feet and lift back up. And slowly release the arms. And that should feel pretty good in your shoulders. Step to the front of your mat. All right, we're going to reach the arms up and take a normal forward fold, drop the head. Plant your hands down, step both your feet back, and we're going to drop our knees and come all the way down onto the belly. Okay, now from here, we're going to do cobra a few times and then we'll move into upward facing dog. Hands are under the shoulders, tops of the feet are pressing down, and the kneecaps are lifted. Elbows close to the body, neck is long. Inhale to lift the chest. So I'm not here, I'm just here. I'm activating the back muscles and keeping my collarbone smiling wide. May we all do that together. Exhale to lower down. Let's do that once again. Inhale to lift the chest. The crown of the head is reaching forward. The elbows are pointing back and lower down. Okay, last one, lift. Can we hold it here? Maybe hover the hands off the floor and squeeze the shoulder blades in together. Keep the, the neck long, breathe, one more breath. And then slowly lower down, good. Release the hands, you can stack your hands, drop the forehead onto your hands, bend with the knees, and windshield wiper your legs side to side, releasing any tension in the hips. All right, now we're going to get ready for our upward facing dog. So this is also a very, very good chest opener, but it does require some strength in the arms and in the legs. So hands under the shoulders. I want you to think of spiraling your inner thighs up towards the ceiling, okay? Kneecaps are lifted, spiral your inner thighs up towards the ceiling. Press into your hands firmly, 
Squeeze the inner thighs, press the tops of the feet down and press away from the floor with your hands and let your chest come forward. So imagine your pelvis going forward, pull the belly button in, let the collarbones smile wide. Neck is long. Breathe here. One more breath. You've got this. Pull the shoulders back and slowly drop the knees. Pull the belly button in. Send the hips back. Come into Balasan, arms by the sides of the body. Take a couple of breaths once again. Notice how that felt. Notice what you're feeling now in your shoulders, in your back, in your neck. Take one more deep breath here. And then lift your head, hands come back down, tuck your toes. We're going to lift back up into downward facing dog. This side, I want you to really press the whole palm onto the floor. Uh, fingers are spread wide. And I want you to pay special attention to the index knuckle, okay? Press down through that knuckle. Tuck the toes under, lift the knees, pull the belly button in, send your hips back, and up. All right. So we're creating space for our neck by externally rotating the shoulders just a tad bit. But notice that when you externally rotate your shoulders, your index finger knuckles might come off the floor. So press down through the index finger knuckle. So it's as if you want to internally rotate your forearm, but externally rotate your um, upper arm. So think of those two movements simultaneously happening. Look forward, bend the knees, step both your feet forward. Bring your hands to your shins, pull the chest forward, inhale, exhale to fold. Inhale, come back to standing, and hands come back together. All right, so let's step our feet apart. Nice and wide stance. Point your left toes out to the side and the right toes slightly in. Okay, arms reach out to the sides and we're going to bend that left knee. So when you bend the left knee, you want the knee to be over the ankle. Lower belly is in, ribs are tucked in, neck is long. Not leaning forward, okay, my torso is straight, neck is aligned with my spine. Warrior two, Virabhadrasana. Two, breathe here. And what I want you to think of here is to plug back this bone into its socket. So I'm not pulling my buttocks back. Okay, so plug the thigh bone back into its socket. Collar bones are wide, breathe. One more deep breath. And inhale to lift your arms. All right. Exhale, hands come back to the side. Now, we're going to transition from warrior two into side angle, okay? And then we'll maybe take a bind. So for those who've done that before, you can take a bind. Arms up by the side, knee bends, shoulders relax. Inhale here, exhale, elbow comes to the knee, the opposite arm stretches overhead. So we want our collarbones to stay wide, press into the outer edge of your right foot, and maybe you look up towards the tips of your fingers. All right, let's do that once again. Press into both your feet. Come back up, straighten your legs. Arms reach up. Warrior two. Take an inhale. On the exhale, side angle. Now this time, for those of you who know this posture and are comfortable bringing the hand down, you're going to bring the hand down in front of your foot or outside, making sure the knee stays over your ankle. And hold here. Lean your spine back, collarbones wide. Maybe you shift your gaze up. Maybe you take a bind. So you wanna bring your shoulder in and thread the arm, the left arm under the thigh and come into a bind. Making sure your chest stays open. Stay strong with that leg for three, two, and one. Slowly and carefully release the bind, press into your feet, and come back up. Hands to your hips, 
Take a mini break if you wish to. Wiggle your feet together, shake out your legs, shake out your arms, and we'll do all of that on the other side. All right, and as you can see, it might be a slow flow. We're holding posture, but postures, but I'm already sweating. So it's a lot of walk and it's good. All right, so left, right foot out, sorry. Uh, left foot slightly in, bend the knee. Okay, stretch your arms out. Collarbones wide, neck long. Gaze is soft. Soften your jaws. There's no tension in the facial muscles. Shoulder blades down the back. Remind yourself of your intention. Stay with your breath. One more breath here. Can we press into the outer edge of that back foot? Inhale, arms up, straighten both knees. One more time. This time, we're going to inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee, stretch the left arm overhead. So it's a side angle pose. Knee stays over the ankles, uh, ankle and your spine pulls back. So you're leaning your spine back to keep your chest open. One more time. Inhale, stretch the arms up, straighten the legs. Exhale, warrior two, side angle, and this time hold. Either you stay right here, maybe you bring your hand down, or maybe you even take a bind. So pick your level, pick what feels right for you today, and hold here, lean your spine back, maybe you shift your gaze up. That just challenges your balance a little more. Let's take one more breath. And then slowly release. Take your time with control. Lift back up. All right. Hands come back to your hips and walk your feet back together. Shake it up. Shake out your legs. Shake out your arms. You're doing great, I'm sure. And we're going to keep moving. Okay. Step to the front of your mat. I'm here, I'm back. Okay, feet are together, heels slightly apart, arms up by the sides. We're going to bring our arms down, forward, and in line with our ears, sending the hips back. Coming into Utkatasana, chair pose. Take a moment here, keep your neck long, pull the belly in, and keep your collarbones wide. So the weight is more into the heels. Breathe. Press into both your feet and feet and reach your arms back up. Come back to standing. One more time, okay? We're strengthening our legs. Inhale, Utkatasana. Sit low into that chair. Knees are pointing forward. Weight into the heels. Neck is long. Good job. Let's take two more breaths. Breathe. With intention. Last breath. Nice job this time. Let your head fall down as you fold forward over the legs. Always keeping a soft bend in the knees if you need. All right, plant your hands down, step both your feet back, and drop your knees. Okay, we're going to come into a dolphin pose. Bring the elbows down. This is one of my absolute favorites for shoulder opening and strengthening. Elbows are down. Forearms are parallel, and my fingers are spread wide. Okay, so instead of having your knees right under your hips like this, walk your knees slightly forward. Tuck your toes under. And first, you're going to practice a few rounds of scapular push-ups. So I'm not here, I'm pressing away. Activate the muscles in between your shoulders. And you're pulling the belly button in simultaneously. Inhale, exhale, scapular push-up. Can we hold it at the top? Okay, make sure your elbows stay under the shoulders, tuck your toes, pull the belly button in, and lift the hips. Now my head is not touching the floor, my neck is loose, and my knees stay bent, okay, as much as I need to. Breathe here. 
This is a challenging one, but it is great to open up the shoulder. So hold it for maybe one or two breaths and take a mini break if you need to. And then come back right into your dolphin pose. And for those of you who have flexibility in the hamstrings and are able to walk the feet a little closer, you can do that. But make sure you're pulling the belly button in, making sure the elbows are under the shoulders. Walk your feet back, bend the knees, and send your hips back, coming into Balasana, drop the head. We're going to do that just one more time. And I'm sure you already feel it in the shoulders. It's really a wonderful posture to open up the shoulders. Let's do that one more time. Stretch your arms forward, elbows come down, forearms are parallel, pull the belly button in, scapular push up, activate those muscles in the back. Tuck your toes, walk your knees a little closer, breathe in, and on your exit, lift the knees off the floor. Can we keep that soft bend in the knees? Drop the head and hold it here. Maybe you walk your feet a little closer. The heels might reach the floor or might not, that's okay. That's the direction we're walking towards, but we take our time, hold. Three more breaths, we've got this. Let your neck be loose and free. And then drop the knees, come back into Balasana. Take this little moment, take this opportunity to allow your body to absorb the effects of that posture. Completely release the neck and the shoulders. Breathe with intention. All right. Good. And we're going to lift the head, cross our shins behind us, and come to a seat. Okay. And from here, make sure you have enough space behind you. We're going to start with a little bit of core activation with Navasana. So your feet are down. Hold on to the backs of your thighs. You're on your sitting bones. And you're going to rock off your sitting bones just slightly, activating the lower belly muscles. Lift your heels off the floor. Shoulder blades are down. Collar bones are wide. And just rock off the sitting bones and come back. Just this tiny little movement. You'll feel your abdominals switch on. Okay, let's do this one more time and then we'll hold our boat pose. Good, hold it here now. Try to pull your knees in towards your chest. Collarbones stay wide and your shins come parallel to the floor if you can. So I'm not pulling my legs in with the strength of my arms. I'm letting my arms be loose, okay? Just as we're just holding on here as support. And hold, breathe. If you want to play around with this, maybe you stretch one leg out. Maybe the other. Maybe both. And hold there. Two more breaths. Relax the shoulders. Nice job. Cross your shins. And those who practice with me know that I like to follow Navasana with this. Cross your shins, bring your hands forward. Okay, not here. They're in between where the knee is and the foot is. Lean forward, scoop the belly in, lift the hips up. My feet are still on the floor. Look forward, press away from the floor and come back down. Let's do this two more times. Hands down, spread your fingers. That's your base. You want your base to be big. Pull the knees up. Pull the hips up, collarbones wide. So you're using your core to lift the hips. Last one. Nice job. And let's go straight into Navasana. This time, see if you can bring your arms forward. It's absolutely fine if you still need your hands behind your leg. Hold for three, two, one. And cross your shins. This time, for those of you who have Padmasana in your practice, if you have lotus pose, go ahead and take lotus. Otherwise, stay the way we work and do the same thing. Maybe in lotus pose, you're able to bring the hands down, 
and lift. Try it out a couple of times. And then finally we hold. Even if you are just in that cross-legged position, hold. For three, two, and one. Whew. All right. Release your butt muscle. Stretch your legs forward. Take a moment. Shake out your legs. A little more shoulder opening. Bring your hands back. Walk your hands back. Walk, walk, walk. Stretch out your shoulders. And stop where you think it's enough for you. You can bend your knees if that's more comfortable for you. I'm just going to come a little forward. And lift the chest. So feel that shoulder stretch. Feel the muscles of your chest. Expand and stretch. Every breath you take, expand through the chest. One more breath. Nice job. And slowly, carefully walk your hands back towards your hips. We're going to do, before we move on to the next stretch, do a little bit of wrist therapy. Circle your wrists around and opposite. Stretch your fingers down and up. Just flex and extend at the wrist a few times. Nice job. All right. Now we're going to bring our hands about a hip, uh, about an elbow distance behind our hips. Fingers facing forward. Bend the knees, hip width distance. We're going to come into a reverse tabletop. Collarbones wide and drop the hips again. Lift up. And down. Uh, this is enough for you. You're going to stay here and hold it here at the top. If you want more, you extend your legs. Keep your legs together for this one and lift up. So if you've taken this version, you want to pull your toes forward and bring the soles of your feet down. Expand through the collarbones and hold for two more breaths. And slowly release. Take your time, roll your shoulders, completely relax your neck. Breathe. Notice how that felt. I'm just keeping a tap on the time. We've got just five to ten minutes. We're going to slowly end this practice with a twist. All right, this is also very good for the shoulders. So swing your legs to your right side okay so if your legs are on the right side of your body your right leg will be on top okay so this is how my feet look one ankle is over the arch of the other foot okay both the knees point forward sitting bones on the floor i'm going to first lengthen through the spine so any twist you do first thing lengthen okay you want to create space between each vertebra all right, now twist to your left side. All right, both your hands are to the left of your body. Lengthen through the spine, inhale, and exhale. You're going to pull the left ribs back. So use your core muscles for the twist. I'm not pushing with my hands. I'm using activation in the muscles to twist. The hands are just there for support. Collarbones are still wide. Twist a little deeper. And see now, I'm just going to switch angles. See if you can bring your eyes, I'm not saying head, eyes to the corner. And notice if that helps you twist a little more. Good. Take one more breath. and untwist. Keep the legs where they are. We're going to take this a little further or do the same. Okay, if this was enough for you, do the same. Lengthen the spine, inhale. Exhale to twist to your left. Now maybe you take that left arm and wrap it around your back and hold on to your thigh. So you can see my hand here. I'm trying to hold on to my thigh. And with this right arm, I'm going to Place the hand down on the floor, palm facing down, and I'm going to just slide it under my left knee. 
So once again, from your twist, left arm wraps around the back, looks for the thigh, and right hand under the left thigh. Hold, one more breath, and slowly release. And that's a wonderful twist. It's also beautiful stretch for the shoulders. Swing your legs around the other side. So the, your feet are to your left side and the left ankle is over the arch of your right foot. And I really have to think because I'm seeing the opposite of what I'm doing. Okay, lengthen through the spine, inhale. Exhale to twist to your right side. Okay, so again, try to do it without the hands. Maybe bring your hands to your rib cage. Actually, that's a good thing to do. Can you just guide the ribs to twist? So pull the right ribs back, left ribs forward. Notice how that helps you. Does it help you twist a little more by activating the muscles here? And then you can bring your hands down and maybe you twist a little further. And again, see if you can bring your eyes to the corner and see if that helps you twist a little more. Because that's how our body is mapped out. It goes in the direction our eyes go. So let's use that to our advantage to get into this twist a little deeper without forcing or straining. And slowly release. Keeping the legs the way they are, we're going to take it a little deeper if you want. Otherwise, you stay here. Okay? Wrap your left, no, right arm around your back and let that hand look for your thigh. Okay? And the right hand comes underneath your right thigh or right knee. And open through the chest. Remember that activation of the core muscles and pulling the ribs back and to the side for this twist. Let's take one more breath. And slowly release, look forward, release the twist and come back into your cross-legged position. Bring your hands onto your knees and take a few shoulder rolls. We're going to stretch out our arms up and overhead, inhale. And bring your hands behind your head, just where your neck meets your skull. And we're going to allow our elbows to drop down, leading the head down and forward. So the chin tucks in towards the chest, but the back of my neck is still long. I want to keep my spine long. Just let the weight of your elbows drop down. Feel that beautiful stretch in your neck. Breathe. Nicely down, slowly release. And release your arms. Okay, we're not done. Last stretch for our shoulders. Stretch your arms out wide. And bring your right elbow or left elbow over the other. Hold onto your shoulders. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tuck your ribs in, your chin in, and round through the back. And feel that beautiful stretch between your shoulders and the back. Inhale, spread your arms wide. Exhale, opposite elbow comes on top this time. Ribs in, chin in, tuck the tailbone. Keep your elbows away from the chest. And release. Let's take that one step further. Either you do the same or you join me for eagle arms. So let's cross one arm over the other. We're going to start with the left arm. Cross the left arm over the right. And then wrap your forearms around one another. So my elbows are now here. I'm pulling my elbows away from my chest and maybe the palms touch. It's okay if they don't. If you're here, that's okay. Okay, now we're going to lift the elbows and round. Let's do this two more times. Inhale, lift. Exhale round. Notice that wonderful stretch in the shoulders. Beautiful. Come back to center and release. Let's do that on the other side. Stretch your arms. 
opposite elbow comes on top. So this time the right arm comes on top. Wrap your forearms, elbows away from the chest, shoulders down and lift. So I'm not here, I'm lifting. And that's when you feel the stretch here around the shoulder. All right, let's move now. Inhale to lift. Imagine your fingers wanting to touch the ceiling and exhale to round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Last one. Inhale. And down. Beautiful. Come back to center and release. Take a few shoulder rolls and we're going to lie down on our backs. So make sure you have enough space behind you. Slowly roll down. Come onto your back. Arms are by the side. Just a little mini inversion before we lie down in Shavasana. Place your feet hip width distance and slowly peel your spine off the floor, starting from the tailbone. Lift up. Think of your hip bones going up your kneecaps going forward and your ribs staying in together. And just hold here for two, one, and slowly peel your spine back onto the floor and hug your knees in. Rock from side to side. And we're going to stretch out the legs let the toes drop out to the sides. Let the arms come to the side. And we're going to take together 10 breaths with ease and peace flowing through the body. So allow your facial muscles to completely relax. Allow your shoulders to relax and allow your breath to flow throughout the body. And feel the breath slowly coming back to its natural rhythm. And for the next five breaths now, just tell yourself there's no other place you need to be in. There's nothing else you need to do. There's nothing else you want for the next five breaths, but just to be here. And completely allow yourself to experience this now. Let the body absorb this moment, each breath as it comes. And please feel free to stay in Shavasana for a little longer if that serves you best. But as it is time to slowly end this practice, I'm going to guide you out of it. We're slowly going to invite some gentle movements into our toes, into our fingers, and then stretch your arms, stretch your arms overhead, give the whole body a beautiful long stretch. And then bending the knees, roll over to the right side of your body. Take a moment to stay in this position for a breath or two. And then using your hands, press yourselves up to come to a comfortable seated position. And we're going to close this practice with gratitude in our hearts, with the palms and Anjali Mudra in front of our chest. Bow the head. I'm very much grateful for having the opportunity to share this energy, this practice with all of you. Thank you for joining me. Rub your palms together. Bring your hands on top of your eyes. Take a breath. Slowly release, bow the head, maybe the forehead touches the ground. Namaste. Take your eyes to open when you're ready. Namaste, everyone. Thank you very much for joining. 
And I'll see you again very soon. I might do another um, live very soon.